Hello and welcome to episode 20 of I Will Cast Anything. We're here on Antigua Shipyards for game 5 in a best of 7. So M. Tozu, who's the green Terran player spawning on the left hand side, is currently leading by 3 games to 1 over Loco Ness, who's the red Zerg in the bottom position. So M. Tozu lost the first game and has since won 3 on the trot with very, very effective. Medvac Marine Marauder armies backed up by siege tanks. And Loco Ness has to be getting desperate now. He's got to win three games in a row. He hasn't changed up his early build at all in this match. He's gone hatch uh, he's gone a hatch first every single time. I think it's time to start reaching into that bag of tricks. You've got to win this game and extend this series. I think you've got to break away from what you've been doing so far, from what your exponent, opponent will be expecting and go for something a bit crazier but we'll see not going ridiculously early hatch again I don't think he'll be drone scouting, he hasn't done it at all so far and we'll see if so I'm Tozu goes for the one rask expand or if he takes that early gas and goes hellions again he's gone did hellions in the first game and in the fourth game and he went one rask expand in games two and three hatch first again from loco ness sticking with hatch first not going for anything wacky we'll see if he changes up his build any beside that oh two racks for soem tozu maybe soem tozu's decided it's time to end this game. It's time to go for some really early pressure. Not mess around. Put this out of reach. And just knock out Loco Ness. First Marine is about to finish up. And Loco Ness doesn't even have any Queens to do any defending with. That spawning pool is going to finish though in time to stop that marine from doing too much damage but there is going to be some early pressure and because he doesn't drone scout Loco Ness doesn't know that this is coming his overlord is wandering off on all the wrong corners of the map before it's going to get to the right one and this could spell trouble two queens coming now with that spawning pool finishing up But the marine production is already in full swing. Two marines at a time are going to be rallying across the map for pretty much the rest of the game now. This is going to be, well, not quite an all-in. He is expanding. So we will have a way back from this, but it's a big early commitment to unit production. If Loco Ness can hold this off, he can take this to a game six. Here come those four marines, only one queen out at the moment. That queen is going to have to run away, but the second one's coming down so slowly off the creep. And two queens will be able to push these marines away. They did get one worker. One marine goes down, two more come up to replace it. And this time they're going to skirt around the side. And that queen is going to have to come all the way back down to push them away again. Oh, one marine dies. This queen is down to half health. But it is going to be able to deal with them with a bit of help. So this early marine push has claimed four workers. But he's lost a lot of marines there. Not maybe as effective as he might have hoped. From Tozu not able to kill any queens. And now a couple of Zerglings will scout out across the map. And drones and again that uh, quite early gas, four gas, so infestors again perhaps for Loco Ness. Even though he's uh, lost two games in a row with that build. Bunkers coming down at this ramp up to the natural. And so I'm Tozu pumping out Marines, although he has eased back on the Marine production a little bit now. Getting those reactors up. 
but I think he is still going to be going for uh, more early marine attacks in a short space of time. Loco Ness getting that creep thread finally starting to join up these two bases, getting those lava and jacks going, getting that gas income in, zergling speed and a wave of zerglings coming and layer tech. And a third going down from Soam Tozu. We've seen this pattern emerge that Soam Tozu is able to take map control very early on in the game. And Loco Ness doesn't seem to mind. He seems to just recognize the fact that he doesn't make very many units early on the way he likes to play. Goes for more queens, a more defensive style, and likes to put down a macro hatch in his main rather than go up to three bases. Double engineering bay coming. For Soam Tozu, it's going to be marines and lots of upgrades, I think. Oh, he uh, cancelled. Strange decision, he cancelled that command center up there and is building one down here to float somewhere else. See what that turns into. Bailing nest coming and layer just finishing up. For Loco Ness. And sitting in his base, building up an army. Spy ah, so it's gonna be Mutilus again. And Mutilus worked very well for him when he got them out nice and early in game one. He was able to take control of the map, keep Soam Tozu pinned in his base and outproduce him very quickly. See how well it works for him in this game. Because of course if he loses there is no tomorrow. That will be it. Marines looking around for any cheeky hatcheries that might have been placed in odd corners of the map and these speedlings are roaming around looking pretty menacing and they are going to get a good surround on these marines and clean them up chomp 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 so marines dead but tanks on the way for tozu meanwhile that spire is about to finish some overlords are going to pop and a wave of mutilisks is going to appear with these zerglings out on the map. Loco Ness can take that third at a not terribly late time. I don't think he's doing a bit better this game. He seems to have uh, gotten himself out onto the map and fielded an army earlier. And he's going to get these mutilisks out. And I think Loco Ness is looking in pretty good shape here. Fighting off that early marine push, that two racks pressure. Put him in a good position. To have a chance to level this game, well not to level this game, but to extend this game, this match to a game 6. Those mutilisks are out now. And we can see them moving out into the map, taking control. So Tozu has gone quite defensive here, he knows that these mutilisks are coming. And he doesn't want to be anywhere near them, we'll see if they uh, come round. Let's attack this side of the base. It looks like they are. There's a couple of missile turrets. I think the music count is high enough that that's not going to be enough. One mutilisk for one missile turret. This refinery will be taken out. And that medvac was rallied out into a dangerous place. Nearly got taken down. Here come plenty of marines. That'll push the mutilisks away. But they'll be back soon enough. No significant engagements besides uh, marines on Zergling so far in this match. More mutilisks and more Zerglings coming and Baneling speed as well as air attack. So going back to what worked for him in game one, Loco Ness, mutilisks, Zerglings and Banelings won him game one so that's what he's going back to try and win game two beginning down that infestation pit earlier than he did in game one. Here come those mutilisks again. Roaming across the map. Looks like they're going to try and push in at the bottom of the natural here. Or maybe just camp out for this orbital command to plonk down here in this close expansion. Risky move from Soam Tozu. Does he know that these rocks have been taken out? Surely he must. He does have enough marines to push away those mutilisks. And plenty of tanks too. 
and he is going to be able to claim this space quickly putting down a lot of missile tarts but look at all these speedlings and rolly banelings they can catch this army out of position oh they're in fact going to run up this ramp and force that orbital command to lift off and now they're going to charge down again good spread from Soem Tozu but he's having to retreat oh good baneling hits at the end there these tanks are going to be taken out by the mutilisks some marines do survive though those medvacs worth their weight in gold but the mutic count is still very very high and a massive wave of zerglings is coming so is layer tech plus two plus two upgrades on the way for Tozu so he's going to have a big lead in upgrades pretty shortly but look at all these mutilisks 17 mutilisks aren't enough missile tarts here to ward them off I'm going to take out these two and then they're going to move in to attack this command center pull these marines and medvacs up and these mutilisks making a nuisance of themselves now forcing Tozu to dance his army across the map and keep it out of position and meanwhile lots of banelings are morphing in Loco Ness is close to maxing out he's got another wave of mutilisks coming he's got a huge huge supply advantage right now just massive and a worker lead here comes a big zergling attack up into this third base here Baneling hits in the worker lines, forces this command center to take off again. It's nearly been destroyed. Some more marines come in, but there's too many zerglings. This muse account is just way, way high. These marines are being picked off one by one, and that's GG.